with the Star on Transportation, uh, folks in Colorado. I have uh, built a wireless automated overfill protection system for transport vehicles. Now, this system that I built is primarily used for uh, blind, pumping into blind holes, like a uh, tank with no gauges, a uh, tank with broken gauges, anything with that scenario. Now, the wireless system has a range of 600 feet. It operates off the sensor that you can see up there on the side of the tank. The black box up there will connect to the uh, box inside the truck. Now I know about the overflow protection systems out there. One is a 93% check valve that most of us are accustomed to that do a lot of pump offs. And also, you know, get a meter system too. Now I'm gonna tell you my advantages of having this system versus a 90% check valve and versus a meter system. The 90% check valve that you see on most uh, tanks does not stop the flow. Okay? It, the pump has a bypass in it and it bypasses a certain amount back into the trailer. So it depressurizes the system so you won't bur burst the hose. Okay? My system will actually stop the pump. Okay? It stops the flow completely. Now the meter system that you can see that you can put on transports, I've only seen one. One truck had it. And the meter system does not stop automatically. The uh, driver has to look at the meter and stop it. So what are going to be the uses of this system? Well, let's look at a slideshow and I'll show you uh, some uh, pictures and some uses of this system. I like that slideshow. So, put this system in 90 days. Okay, this is just a prototype. This system is not for sale. I'm looking for uh, investments, investors to help me put this system on the market. As a remote system, right here, we're going to start the pump now.
up automatically. I have my hands out so you can see it. That would be the same thing as 90% check out. Okay? It's going to stop the pump automatically, but your hoses are still full, correct? Okay? I have a real ground. I have electronic built in bypass for this system. Then you can put the bypass on a timer. Once the pump stops, it can start again at a certain amount of time, let's say one minute, okay? And then you have, the driver will have 45 seconds to clear out his hose. Okay, let's, let's hit the bypass. I'm gonna walk over here, close the fire valve, so I'm done. Somebody give me crap about that. So I forgot to mention the wired scully system for transport trucks. If this is something you would like for me to build for you, I need a donation of a scully cord and a socket. So basically it would operate the same way that you do with the rack. You would plug in your pump into a scully cord with the ground attached and once they hit the sensor it automatically shut off. I can have that built within 60 days. Special thanks to my boss Al. If you would like to see, if you're a customer's house and you would like to see this system operational, his number is 970-388-2194. Just ask for me. My name is Edward Hodge. BWI Eagle Patrols. Her name is Sandy. She helped me along the way. Her phone number is 800-575-5311, extension 1. My number is 303-396-9613. Email airmanhodge at hotmail.com. And also, I want to thank Sportsman's Barbecue and Backyard for letting me sacrifice their parking lot. Bet that's the best barbecue in Colorado. <laughs>